everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you a real easy round brush flower design painted on this green glass bottle it's a large Jägermeister bottle I've already washed it with soap and water gone over it with rubbing alcohol and it's ready to go I am going to be using a number 14 and a number 16 a magic round brush all of these items I'm listing are actually down below my video if you want to do any purchasing through my affiliate links. Number four, flat brush, a magic, and a fine liner by Westonia, and a number eight, Deerfoot Stippler. Paints I'm using today are all folk art paints. I use a mixture of multi surface and enamels. I will be using berry wine, wicker white, happy green. Hopefully it looks good on here. Red Violet. And of course Thicket. If you follow me, you know that Thicket's one of my favorites as far as the greens go. Alright, so to begin, I'm going to take the number 16 round brush. And I'm just going to dip it all into the Red Violet. I'm going to tip it into the wicker white and begin to paint and I'll just keep adding paint to my brush as I continue on all right so to begin with I'm going to push down create a couple buds and I just want them to be just real real easy nothing nothing very difficult if you're new to my channel please know that my intention is to create very simple pieces for a beginner painter to feel comfortable painting. That's my goal. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on here. And I'm going to just be pushing down and pulling towards the center. If you feel like you need to get in some new or some more paint, go ahead and dip in. If you feel like it's too purplish, you can always go back over and add some white. The main thing while you're painting is that you actually obtain a very good amount of paint on your brush because, I don't know why this is doing that, because the more paint you have on your design, the more durable the design will be. Just so you keep that in mind. And for some reason it wants to lift up here. I'm not sure what's happening. But again, the main thing is to go over it until you have the desired coverage because that's that's the important part. All right, so we're going to keep going here. And when you're creating these, your opening, or I should say your center part, doesn't always have to be going into the same direction meaning that you know you can have one flyer pointed one way, another flyer pointed another way, and that's perfectly fine. And I like for my petals to have different looks. I'm not trying to achieve the same look on the petals as I'm painting, meaning they don't all have to be the same color, the same shade. That's not my intention. If, if that bothers you, then, you know, do what you need to do to get them to look similar. But I'm really, that's not my goal here. Not even trying. I like them to be different. That's more of what I'm trying to achieve is a, just more interest, I think, when they're, they're not the same. All right, so I got three main flowers. And I'm just going to come down here at the bottom and put in what I consider just like three little buds or a couple buds. Not even sure if it's going to be three. It might just be two. Just to kind of be hanging down. And I can put one over here. Yeah, just very, very simple. Very simple design. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is take my fine liner brush and I am going to 
hope you can see this. It's hard for me to see, so I'm not sure. Dip it into, or actually push it into the side of the, of the um, thicket. And then move my plate, because again, I don't have a whole lot of room. Then I'm going to come in here and just go on the sides of these flowers. And I'll just keep touching into the paint as I need to. Now, like say on this, I'm putting some of the happy green in so that we can see it. And then I'm just going to come up into the flower and just kind of do that. Just little strokes. Now this one is so close. But I'm still going to pretend that it comes down into this petal here. And that's where it's going to be attaching. So then I just lightly put in some little poles just like that. Okay. Going to keep doing that around all of these little buds. And that did pull in some purple, which is fine. Because we'll just keep going over it till we get it filled in. If you think it's too much purple, just wipe it off. No biggie. If you don't like pulling in paint from the design like this, then go ahead and wipe off your brush. But for me it's it's fine. I don't I don't mind the purple. So I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. And you can rotate the colors if you want, pulling in some more of the purple, which is fine. You know, one thing you can do if you if you don't like to do wet on wet is to hit it with a heat gun hair dryer or something along that line. That way you can give it a little extra drying before you hit it with this part of the design. But when you do wet on wet, you're, you need to expect that you're going to pull in color from the wetness underneath. That's just a common, common thing to happen. And it can give your design character. But I know some people don't like the character, so not a problem. Okay, so then we're going to just pretend that we're hooking these together. And keep in mind that, I need to roll some of that purple off, that I'm going to be putting leaves in, and if you were, if you're familiar with my work, you know I like leaves. So a lot of what I'm painting in right now may be covered, and it may not. It might be. Just be prepared. These are just fun little, hopefully I didn't get it on me. And I like these little pieces that I'm adding to it. Purple gives it a nice little, nice little look I think. And that could just be me, but I like it. All right. There we go. And I know with this dark glass bottle, sometimes it's kind of hard to see the greens and if they're not light. So, you know, keep that in mind. 
I do know that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna tip the number 14 round brush into the thicket. And then I'm basically going to create some leaves. Well, let's see, I'm gonna make sure that you can see, but I'm pushing down and pulling towards the flower. And you can do it like that, or you can just, you can add another, another side to it. You can pretend that these are both uh, separate leaves or part of the same leaf, however you wanna think of it. There you go. Pretty easy, right? I hope you'll give this a try, especially if you're new. I really like to to create things that are simple. Give you a chance to paint. So I know for me, it's definitely something that's relaxing. And if you keep it simple, it doesn't require a lot of paint. Like you see with my designs, I'm doing minimal amounts of paint. Once again, I got a little purple on there. Gonna come over here with that. Come through here, back into there. I've yep, got a little purple there again. Not a biggie, not a biggie. Okay, so I can come in here if I want. I'm not gonna add too many more as far as the, this type of leaf goes. Maybe a little bit in here. And you can use smaller brushes too as you're creating. I'm just minimizing the amount of brushes you would need for this design, but you know, keep in mind, you can definitely do, you know, more brushes if you if you have them. I just don't want to create something where you feel like you need to have, you know, 25 different brushes or, you know, a, a gob of paint. You just need a few colors. So what I'm doing with this is I always like to do some kind of a, just a little kind of filler leaves just to give my design a little more interest. At least I think it does. And I do apologize, my air conditioning is beginning to turn on here. All right, so you can do as many as you want. I'm just gonna do three, just so we can keep going with this design. All I'm gonna do is take my flat brush, the number four, dip it into the happy green. It's just gonna be one color. Now on this part, you know, I may go ahead and, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a heat gun. Hold, I will be right back. All right, so I am ready to go ahead and put in my filler leaves. So I'm just gonna do my basic one stroke type leaf. And you know, I don't wanna go over that bud too much, but it's just the basic full leaf not anything too difficult to do it's just one color you can almost say like these are kind of like the shadow leaves or the ghost leaves whatever you want to call them that you would possibly do on paper or wood they're not meant to be actually they could be thinned down some if you were doing it on paper I wouldn't thin them down on glass because you want to have good coverage but in general, if you were doing these, these would be just maybe with some uh, clear medium, flow medium. And I don't care that I've got the purple in there. I think that kind of adds to it. So I'm gonna leave that just like that. And then what you can do if you want, you can either use the flat brush and turn it on its side and add the little stems in, or you can come back in with this brush, and this is the uh, fine liner, and then just do some of your 
little stems to pull them into the leaves just so that they seem like they're attached. Or like I said, you can do it with your flat brush, which typically is what I normally do. But I thought, you know what, this might give it a better look, which I do like. I love this brush. I don't know why, but I do. All right, we're almost finished. We gotta do the center. Sorry, hit the, hit the camera, sorry about that. And one more, and that. And then what I'm going to do is take my deer foot stippler. Now, if you have a scruffy brush, you can do this too. I'm going to put, I have my, and I, I don't know if you can see that the bristles are actually slanted. So I'm going to put some of the red violet in the back, some of the white, the wicker white in the front, and I'm just going to pounce a little bit on my plate. And I'll just keep doing that until I get the centers the way I want them. But I always like to try to tap these off a little bit just to not have too much paint on them at one time. You know, unless you find like you do, maybe you do need to have some more paint on them. Sometimes you'll find that out. do this one here. Got to pull that in. And you can do fancier things with this brush, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not I just I like my centers to be kind of just free flowing. All right, then I'm going to take a little bit of the berry wine, put it on the heel. And then this way I can just add a little bit of a different color to this, this center, which I think gives it a nice little look. And then here we go to the bottom one here. Make it a little bit more white up in here. Then you're done now of course you could do dots or whatever but I'm just gonna leave it like this I think it's pretty just like this I hope you like this video if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please subscribe hit that notification bell and prior to leaving if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with all your family and friends I would greatly appreciate that very easy just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and it will give you the options of where you can share it once you hit that and you're good to go. All right. Thanks again for taking the time to view my videos. I do appreciate you. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one. Bye.